So guys, I am back with another Starfield video and today guys, I bring you an amazing XP farm all players can use. Xbox PC, you don't want to miss this. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now yes, I know the probably are better XP farms, faster XP farms in the game. But this one doesn't require you to go to a certain planet, farm certain materials and spend your entire day uh, spamming buttons to craft certain items. This requires you to just take things out and you earn XP that way. But if you want a way to well, earn XP by just farming materials and crafting, I've got a video on my channel showcasing exactly how you do that. This is more fun though in my opinion and it's one I like to do much more. Okay, so to do this guys, you need to come to this star system called strix or strikes i'm not even sure if that what that says well you can see it's right here guys it's far right to where you would have started the game so you can see if we go here and zoom out a bit you can see olympus is there and we have alpha shinchuri there okay so it's all the way over here right so so if you click on that don't drag me away cursor there we go and you want to come to this planet right here now this planet is home to quite a few materials but the places you want to land to, for this to work best in my opinion is within the aluminium critters so you can see this area here i farmed earlier so many of these enemies here guys which is what we're going to be doing taking out enemies easy to kill enemies hundreds of them grouped up um within these areas so obviously your planet can look different to mine uh, but aluminium is in my opinion the best place to land here now, i've just gone to another spot right here guys that's where i'm at and again, there's loads of these enemies here. So again, search around, uh, do what you gotta do, find these enemies. Okay, so, firstly, you wanna put the on easy because you're gonna be killing things, they fight back, and obviously, the easier it is, the easier they die, the faster you earn XP, simple as that. Also guys, if you wanna increase XP gains, if you sleep on a bed for 12 hours, you become well rested, you gain 10% increased XP for 25 minutes. If you sleep with a companion, you get a further 15%. So that's 25% increased XP. So keep that in mind. Okay, so let's leave the ship and I'll show you what you gotta do. Now you need a weapon which can which has got a bit of range on it because you need to kite enemies towards you. Uh, it's a bit dark, I wish it was daylight. I could probably just change time by no, I'm just going to quickly change the time. I'll skip the video. I want it daylight, people. I want it daylight so I can show you exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so no idea why I wasn't looking at local time when I was skipping hours, but I should have been. But now we've got daylight. Okay, so as you can see, these enemies here. These there. You can see all these things here. These are all which you can kite towards you and kill them. So if you've got a weapon that can do this, that's what you want to do. So I've got a sniper. You don't need a sniper. You just need a, like even a, a rifle will do. So if I shoot one, you'll see that a lot of them will... I, you know what, I don't even think you have to... I think the noise just kites them. I'm not sure, but you'll see anyway that they all will just come across. And you'll end, I'll end up with so many on me. It's ridiculous. And the best thing is, guys, you can just run around this area and hundreds of these things will be there. They are absolutely... You can see in the distance, they are absolutely everywhere. And again, you take out one and loads of them come and you end up with tons around you hey that went straight through him what is this kind of battlefield what the hell is this crap you see them all just coming towards my ship that's fine because i don't hit hard and these guys can give you between 20 xp sometimes a little lower to 150 xp 200 xp depending on your buffs and what you have again like like i said you can use your cutter on these if you want to it does work But no, well, obviously he's a bit far away, we can see they all come right to your face. 50 XP. It's about the cutters like this, it runs out of ammo so quick, but hey. It still works, so you can use it. But I like to use my weapons. I like that beast little weapon here, the Amber. I mean, if you haven't got this weapon, I'll put a link in the video description. If you forget, it's on my channel. It comes with a secret ship. The thing is a beast. And look at all these I've grouped up. This is just XP people, this is just pure free XP. It's just ridiculous, it's ridiculous. And again, you can do this to your heart's content. Let's keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. And again, the whole planet 
as far as I'm aware, it's full of these. Now the colder areas I did uh, look at, I say whole plate. Right? Some some of the colder areas I didn't find any of these, but a lot of them within the aluminium craters and certain other areas, there's so many of them. And they just keep coming guys. They really do. So much XP to get. So much XP to get. That's why I said it isn't as fast as farming the materials and crafting. It's definitely not on PC, but on Xbox is probably a bit of a challenge here. Yeah? Because these guys, again, I mean, I'm not sure how much XP you get for crafting. It's not my kind of thing to do. I mean, to be honest, farming XP isn't my kind of thing to do. I just play the game. I know there's people out there that like this kind of thing. That's why I make the videos on it. Boom, got a level. That's so fast. I'm not long leveled up. I was like a level 18 before I come here about 20 minutes ago, but I've been stopping and starting. This, that, and the other. So I can just go this way now. I can run any direction I want to. And you'll just start seeing more and more of them. Or you could just get in your ship and land in a different zone. That's completely up to you. And I got little bastards following me here somewhere. I thought I had. So yes guys, this is absolutely ridiculous. Now I'll go to another spot. Uh, I'll just fly there quickly and I'll showcase it to you. I'll skip the video though because otherwise you don't want to see all this loading rubbish. So I've just been actually just looking around the planet guys. And I've come to this landing spot right here. Another place within aluminium. And look what I just found. <laughs> Look what I just found. Look at all these dudes juked up together. It is ridiculous now. It's a bit dark now, but look at all these. Look at all them. This is absolutely scary. It's a bit dark. I could put my flashlight on. It ain't going to make much of a difference. I want to kite all these over. I'm not sure I can hit them from here. If I hit one or two, should should all come. And this is what I mean, guys. Just fly around this area. Get there, cheese. I'm not sure did they are they coming. So make sure. I mean, this is some battlefield shears. These should be hitting. Boom. It's probably just my accuracy to be honest. Okay, so all these guys are gonna come. All these guys are gonna come for me, which is cool. Come on, come on, fellas. Look at them all up there as well. Jesus, Louise. See, I'm pulling out my other dude. Again, guys, it's ridiculous. So, like I said, do what you gotta do. Come to this place, farm that XP. I mean, it could be within other areas, but again, for me, it's aluminium. Within these areas, it seems as though there's more of these creatures that spawn in. But it could be all over the place. Again, I tried to copper the copper area, which was cold for me. Um, didn't seem there's any of these there, but the aluminium creators and places like this. There are tons of them. Now, in regards to these respawning, the enemies respawning, for me, I mean, I've just rotated the planet and I've always seemed to respawn. It's took me probably 15, 20 minutes to do this, or I'm guessing you can reset time by like 48 hours. This I'm not certain on, but I've been using this for, well, I've tried and tested this method in the same areas now and the enemies have always respawned uh, for a couple of days now so it definitely works some way or another so if someone can confirm how long it takes or how to reset enemies in the video or in the comment section that would be very very helpful indeed and there we have it guys this is the XP farm do what you gotta do and I hope you enjoyed the video guys if you did leave a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.